get started. The last time I saw you all here, I tried to warn you about a topic, a very dark topic, a very evil topic. Sin! And none of you listened. Now look at you. You see how things turned out? Since then, everybody's got nukes. Everybody's mad at each other. Biff is still president. I tell you, friends, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I think, I think, I think we're doomed. 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 I would wager to, to say, friends, we are probably the most doomed creature on the planet. Now, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. There are other doomed creatures like the dinosaurs, the dodo, <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> too soon, too soon. These are all things that are truly no longer with us. Let's face it, let's face it. But ma humankind uh, has been more doomed than anything else before. Allow me to elucidate. One day, 12 mystical magical eagles had visited Romulus, one of the legendary founders of Rome, and they told him the exact year that Rome would fall, although that year was never revealed. Romans assumed that each eagle represented 10 years from the founding of Rome, and the math comes out to 634 BCE, but nothing happened. Then they said, no, 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 we were just kidding. We were just kidding. Each eagle represents the number of days in a year. So really the math is more like 389 BCE. But nothing happened. And speaking of the end of the world, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this benevolent, beautiful, forgiven figure has tried to pass judgment and end our world so many goddamn times. <laughs> In the first century, apostles of Jesus said the world would end and Jesus would return before they died. He didn't. In 156 CE, the first known doomsday cult was born in what is now called Turkey. The prophet Montanus and his two brave followers, Maximilia and Priscilla, founded the Montanists. Very catchy title and expected Jesus to return and end the world around the year 200. He did not. The Roman theologian Sextus Julian Africanus said the world would end 6,000 years after creation. In other words, Jesus would return again in the year 500 CE. He did not. Later it was revised to 800 BCE. He did not. In 793, a Spanish monk told a crowd of people that the end was coming the very next day. Easter morning, the crowd cried and jeered, but they prayed and they fasted, fasted from food, fasted from drink the whole night, a whole 24 hours without pie, <laughs> oily pork product, and wine from that bag, that leathery bag they squirt into their faces. Thank you for getting that. Well, morning came, but Jesus didn't. Tired and annoyed, the people said, well, at least get, let's get some chorizo, so that way if we die, we're not hungry. <laughs> Throughout recorded history, mystics, popes, and prophets believed Jesus would return in the year 1000. 1033, 1184, 1186, 1260, 1284, 1290, 1306, 1335, 1367, 1370, 1370, 1420, 1496. Oh, <laughs> Jesus has promised to return a guesstimated four to five hundred times since he died that we know of. Twenty-six of those in the year 2000 alone, six of those in the year 2017. And he never does come back. Jesus Christ, what an asshole. So, not to be outdone, but I'm going to take this church in a new direction, a new direction. We will no longer be called the first church of Absalom. No, no, no. We are now going to be a new 
goth death doomsday cult. We will from here to be called the last order of the first branch divinity on the seventh day of Atsalon. And I predict, I predict tonight a great cleansing. Enjoy the drinks. I predict the world will end tonight somewhere between 9.45 and 10.15 p.m. When Jesus will come again. He will pick me up in his Uber. He will have nice conversation. I will give him five stars. And he will take me home. And with that, my friends, I bring you tonight's invocation. War is all around us. My mind says prepare to fight. So if I gotta die, I'm gonna listen to my body tonight. 2000 zero, zero party over, oops, out of time. So tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999. Welcome to Doomed, everybody. And keep it going for our speakers tonight. Leonard Peltzen, Tamar Baskine, Lynn Lawn, two new speakers, Natalie Descalzi and Kyle Weaver.